as a busy family physician with hundreds of patients, Dr. Nav Prasad thinks there are better uses of his medical expertise than writing sick notes. Even though each sick note doesn't take a very long time to write, it's just a few sentences usually or one sentence typed into an electronic health record, there usually is an unnecessary interaction with a patient. The patient has to spend time uh, contacting the physician, sometimes even booking an appointment that could be booked by someone who really needs care. The Canadian Medical Association estimates that family doctors spend 1.5 million hours each year writing sick notes, the equivalent of 5 million patient visits. It's actually a ridiculous use of a healthcare provider's time. Now the CMA is calling on employers to stop requiring sick notes for short-term minor illnesses such as colds. Canadians can relate to how frustrating it is when an employer asks you to go see a doctor when you don't need to see the doctor. You need to sleep, rest, get better so you can get back to work. So what do employees think about sick notes? I had slipped on ice, so I'm in pain physically. The last thing I want to do is walk to a doctor's office. Problem is trying to get through a doctor's facility, a physician, to sign off on it. The group that represents small business in Canada says most of its members don't demand sick notes for routine illness, but they do want recourse if a worker might be abusing the system. For example, if somebody is consistently sick on a Friday, it's like every third Friday, they for some reason are sick, right? Um, you start to wonder, is this really the case, right? Among the provinces, Nova Scotia led the way last year, banning employers from demanding sick notes for illnesses of up to five days. And then just this month, both Ontario and Quebec passed legislation banning the practice, but only for illnesses of three days or fewer. Mike Crowley, CBC News, Toronto.